When I started with Label Master, I was the second employee, and so uh, I learned very quickly um, that education is very important. There were only regulations for explosives all the way from the turn of the century up until the 1970s. In the early 1970s, there were uh, a group of people that got together that realized that with the new focus on the booming chemi chemical industries at that time, that this was going to be something that the United States needed to take very seriously and indeed the United Nations needed to take very seriously. So that's when all of the um, regulations started. A company starting to transport um, or ship uh, hazardous materials um, within the United States would consult the 49 CFR. Then if they're going to be shipping um, by air, the International uh, Air Transport Association or the International Civil Aviation Organization. If they're going to be shipping by ocean, that would be the International Maritime Organization. And all of those have special uh, regulations for transporting hazardous materials. Many uh, years ago, uh, there would be whole regulatory departments, and those regulatory departments uh, would handle the various regulations, and you might have someone that would merely be doing the transport regulations for dangerous goods. Today, in the um, environment at corporations, you will be um, lucky to find one person doing all of the regulations. So um, it's, a, it's a problem because you need to be educated ahead of time. And uh, a one or two week training program will start you off, but it's a continuous process because the regulations change whenever necessary. So therefore, they need help from uh, outside of their organization, whether it be uh, some of the associations or whether it be companies that will handle things for them because they don't have people on staff that know all the regulations and attend all the meetings that, that people used to do and spend their entire day just on regulations. I think this is very important because we need to have a new generation of people coming up to make sure that we're going to be able to continue doing this type of business. Nobody in school ever says that they want to be a regulatory specialist to transport hazardous material, unless there are children. <laughs> And then they usually don't want to do that. But um, it is such an important industry and there's a bright future for people that want to um, invest in it.